All right, welcome to another episode of Lords Mobile. So today, let's talk about hyper farming your accounts and what are the best scenario or best things you can do. And over past few years that I've been playing, I've made enough farms or hyper accounts to see which one actually turned out to be better. And I, I came to a conclusion where I think C16 hyper accounts are the best way to go. I have uh, several other accounts or uh, that, you know, or hyper, wood hyper, food farm and everything else. Uh, this particular account here is a stone hyper. And you can see that I have 16, level 16 on queries. And it produces about 700,000 at this um, time. And that's probably near max. I don't I don't think it's max max. I think we can bring it up even a little bit more. But the thing is, with this account, reason why it's only making 700,000 per hour is because it is C16. And yes, I guess I can break these down, these three, and then put in more more of query but right now I'm in the process of switching all these over to mainers as well so it can be stone and gold hyper and I'm not exactly actually sure how much gold it would put out but as far as the stone go if we're taking about 700,000 um, 24 hours in a day we're, we're talking about 14, 15, about 16 million almost, or 15 million per day, and which isn't great or anything, but if you have a bunch of these, it's definitely worth it. And reason why um, you'll notice here, if we go outside, it is a C16 castle with only 3 million might. So... Basically, it's it will not go to C or anything above C16, and reason being why I keep it Brown Castle is because even if they cap the leader, they can't execute the leader, so the leader actually returns. And many of times, bigger players would not attack Brown Castles anyway, so which you're kind of harmless, and it will actually hold decent amount of uh, resource as well. And so here I don't really need to log into it or anything. Basically what I do is I leave it outside of the hive and I pretty much burn it whenever I need specific resources. And this is not the only one. This is one of the ones I have that I wanted to just share with you. And again, if we go inside, it makes about 700,000. It can hold almost 10 million on storage. And there are a few things that I can do to make it even more. Uh, the familiars are not fully done with in this account. And the heroes are not fully maxed on this account either. But it will be eventually. But reason, again, why I go with C16 is because it's maintenance free. So I don't have to log into it except maybe... You know, once every few days or maybe a week or whatever uh, just because no I don't have to maintain shield on it so you can see by even by doing nothing I'm, I'm gaining gems which I don't really need either but you know it does happen it stacks up and I use it sometimes for a guild fest or whatever and so I don't do much with it except um, get these buildings up to level 16 and of course these will go up to 16 as well for gold and another thing you do need to do is let's look at your heroes like this right here death knight gives you stone I'm currently at 60% but I go to I will be at 150% um, as soon as I upgrade them, I haven't yet, but that will increase it. In fact, we'll just go ahead and upgrade him right now, even though I don't want to. Okay, so I will speed it up. And now Death Knight is gold. So we have had the rate 
of production was 700,000. Now with Death Knight, we got another 100,000 out of it. So it's making about 800,000 right now. And there is actually another hero that you can upgrade, which I'm in process of, is C Squire. C Squire will also, you once it gets gold, you can get 150%. So probably bring us right into 900 above 900 K per hour, which will be great as well. And that will actually bring us to what almost 20 million per day. And that's uh, still not maxed either. So another thing you can do to increase your production. Um, of course, I can change these three here to query as well, and that will actually increase. And you can also go with familiars. So for familiars on stone is Magma Lord and Boulder. And Magma Lord right now is at 7, and I can't get it up anymore because the player level is only 44, I believe, or 45. So once we get to player level 60, which will take quite a bit of time and you know you may never reach it just because it's an hyper account but either way i'm able to get it to level seven or eight at this point but if you do get it up to level 10 then it will get into 25 percent additional 25 percent stone production and that's not the only one we have boulder as well which you can take that and increase it again an additional 35% so that will give you some more and the last thing you want to do is not last thing but another one of those things is you want to set your talents I have nothing on it except set to stone production one two and one more at the bottom and you notice I'm starting to fill out the gold production so that's all I'm doing I really don't care about building speed or research or troop speed or anything like that all I want is just max my production of the resource resources so this particular one is stone and gold so eventually as I get player level up I will feel remainder of the gold production as well and once I get to level 60 or whatever then once I have leftover talent you can do as you wish but yep that should increase it as far as the goal but you do want to set it into uh, whatever you're producing and then last thing is you want to get gear upgraded or whatever you can do this particular one is a stone uh, I haven't actually reached level 55 but I do need to get one of these and you you can only have one accessory anyway and then this one here I got gold so if I go into my workshop, I can look at it and just go in here and pick anything. And what am I producing? Stone, right? So I can pick stone and it'll tell you what gear needs to be made. So I have nothing on the head, headgear or helmet and chest. Nothing. Oh, here's if I get to level 60, we can actually add gargantuan belt, which will give you additional 50%. Uh, doesn't look like I have anything just because I don't open any packs for this particular account and then your main there's nothing um, nothing here and on your accessory warm seal will give you stone production of 5.6 all the way to gold at 35 percent so that can happen so that's additional percentage there between this or accessory and this you can additionally get about 85 percent if you max it out as well um, and then remaining pieces that i don't have i will eventually forge something else um, mainly gold is what i'm going to forge and put in there and then anything that's not for the gold i may put in another piece for different rss just so that I don't know, maybe it'll, over time, just gather a little bit of uh, extra ore or whatever. Why would let it go to waste, right? So I have that. And again, main reason and the biggest reason and the maybe only reason why I keep this 
down at C16 is I don't have to shelter my leader. I don't have to have any troops. I don't have to have the leaders just pretty much sitting out here. Um, and I don't have to shelter him just because they can't capture it. I mean, they can capture it, but even if with that recent update or update a few months ago, even if they do capture it, your whatever you had on your gear at the time and your stats is still valid. So even when they capture, I'm still going to be producing 800,000 per hour. So that's the beauty of it. And um, only time that it will not produce 800,000 or whatever you have is when your leader is executed. And we know that C anything under C-17, you cannot execute. So that's why. So here we have a different account. This one is actually C-21, I think. Let's take a look. This one is actually C-21. And with this, I have not maxed out my buildings just yet. I'm in the process of it. And what's happening here uh, is at C-21, eventually probably go to C-25. But I wanted to upgrade these RSS buildings so that it can start making some RSS. And obviously, it's almost full here. And it definitely will make more. 750000 So not much of a difference. Actually, the stone is making more right now. And that's partly because we don't have these uh, four buildings up. Um, and going where's my increase uh, so I must actually have the familiar going right now but eventually those will go and yes it will get more and we know decent hypers actually put out way more than um, nine or eight hundred thousand but the biggest problem with this particular account is that I have to maintain it I have to like this leader here I usually send it off to a uh, guildmate who's not shielded as a prisoner, but eventually it they kill it in two, three days, and then I have to revive it after like six days. So I have to maintain it. I it just somewhat, if I don't, then somebody else could grab the leader, and, and which is something we don't want. But yeah, this one produces about 700 something thousand. And again, with Familiar, I'm working on this. It's at actually at level 9, um, at 20%. And another one is Krabby, which I'm working on as well. And it's at level 6 and give, gives me 17%. And of course at max it'll give me another 35 percent so yes it it definitely it definitely has more potential and more but now you have to weigh out which one would you rather want do you want to maintain something and think about this as ha like having 10 different farm castles or maybe even 20 or maybe a whole guild of farm castles like everybody you know some of the bigger players have Think about trying to maintain that. That would be impossible to do unless you put it on some sort of a bot. I don't know exactly how that works. But as far as individual having like 10 different resource uh, farm accounts, um, I definitely think C16 is way to go. And let me see. Let's switch over to C16. There we go. So this one here, again... 800,000 and once I get I mean I can actually pick this up to probably I would say over a million per hour which means it gives me about 24 25 million per day which isn't too bad if you're just burning it for resources daily I mean they even that stacks up pretty decently we're talking in a week about what 175 to 200 million resources so in a month is producing for you almost a billion resource out of that c16 and again the best thing about it is you don't have to maintain it so to wrap this up basically my take on the resource buildings or rss or hyper or stone hyper whatever any type of hyper 
Um, first thing I would do is keep it at C16 and then you want to upgrade your familiars and the two heroes to gold and then get the proper gear to maximize your production and also anything that you cannot uh, put slots into then you want to put different type like gold X star uh, gold gear so it will produce gold in addition and these other buildings on top they should turn into gold because it will produce decent amount of gold as well and then lastly you want to set your talents to produce gold and the RSS of your choice so I think those if you do those things you should have a solid solid um, RSS hyper and your guilds should not have run into any shortages on RSS um, me past for the past year or so I've been doing this I have yet to really run into any shortage on any type of uh, resource just because these little C16s are able to provide me plenty and you know of course I have more than one and then also my other buildings that I have the castles that I have they're actually all hypers of some sort unless it's a trap account so so yep that's how I uh, keep up with any uh, resources that I need and uh, I really do recommend that you follow those to get you a decent resource uh, going and again don't forget keep it c16 it's it's going to be very you gotta be patient about it it's gonna take some time to build them up but it's definitely worth it and you know don't fall into that urge of upgrading it to c17 if you go above c16 then now it comes to main maintenance time okay so i hope this video helped as far as getting your hyper farm or a hyper guild going and good luck to you and i'll see you guys on the next video thanks